Hello everyone, this is Stuff, you're watching Stuff HD and I haven't made a video in a while but um, yeah, tired summer. I did decide that I am an absolutely horrible vlogger uh, mostly because you know not not all that when I was in Puerto Rico there was more excitement going on and and it was easier for me to vlog over here not so much especially lately lately all I do is go to work and come back and you know rest um, so when something exciting happens I I end up deciding that I just want to enjoy it so I don't I don't even think of taking out my camera I'm like nah don't feel like doing that I just want to enjoy the moment so that's why I say I'm, I'm a horrible vlogger because well, those are kind of the, the moments that I'm supposed to be vlogging but but yeah I'm being a little bit selfish I'm like nah this is for me so anyway th this video is not about that this video is about this guy around July 16th I guess or 17th it was Amazon Prime Time or Prime Day and they had some really good deals and this was one of them the essential phone for $250 so I went ahead and I ordered one. I can tell you that uh, the Essential Phone is created by a company where one of the founders of that company or one of the guys, main people at that company is Andy Rubin. Andy Rubin is one of the guys who originally uh, created Android, the Android operating system that many of us use. So when, the, <laughs> when his company was making an Android phone, everybody was like, well, yeah, this looks awesome. This must be... The phone to get so anyway they made a really good phone but they actually were selling it for 700 bucks and for 700 bucks it it was a really good phone but it wasn't like like it wasn't a known brand you know you can't go and ask 700 bucks for a, for a phone that's not a galaxy or an i or an iphone you know like people expected this phone to be a lot cheaper and and you know it it, it doesn't have waterproofing it doesn't have uh wireless charging doesn't have a, a micro SD card it doesn't have a headphone jack so you know there, there were all these things that it was missing yet they were charging 700 bucks which at the time last year um, <laughs> that that's what basically all the all the top dog phones were asking for this year it seems to be more like 900 but whatever so the phone didn't do very well because of the price also it had a lot of issues at the beginning but really the essential company has worked really hard on fixing those issues this phone has had so many updates and i've been wanting to buy one for a while and eventually they lowered the price from 700 to 500 and they left it at that but even at 500 i'm like yeah i don't know so this week when i saw it on amazon for 250 i was like okay it's time to give it a try inside this phone you will not find the, the latest uh, CPU because you know it's from last year but you will find the same CPU that's in the Google Pixel XL 2 and the same CPU that's in the I think the Galaxy S9 or no S8 um, and probably the, the Note 8 also it has 128 gigabytes of storage it has 4 gigabytes of RAM which in comparison the the real flagships of today come with like four or six so basically it's still one beast of a phone and what i really like about it is that it still runs android like pure android when you get a galaxy phone or an lg phone or just about any other brand other than a google pixel you tend to get android watered down you know it's got android but it's also got all this other stuff that these companies decided to put in it it should also work on Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, AT&T, just about any carrier. So one hell of a phone for 250 bucks. Yeah, I couldn't pass that up. So with all that said, which I'm sure it's a lot more than what you really wanted to know about this phone. Uh, how about we, we take a quick look? This is supposed to be the white one. Uh, it's got the little white dot over here. So yeah. Let's see what let's see what 250 bucks got me here. All right, so let's see if I can do this without having too many issues. I need to open the plastic. Sadly, by the way, I did check the price and it is back to 460 something dollars, so yeah. Otherwise, I would tell you guys to go pick it up, but so here's the box and you got a this little tab here 
And then. Ooh. So, of course, power thingy majig. Sorry, power doohickey. So, here's the power doohickey. Here's the actual doohickey. Uh, not to be compared with the power doohickey. They are obviously power doohickey provides power to the doohickey. Uh, and like I said, this thing doesn't have a headphone jack, so it comes with a little uh, USB C to headphone jack adapter. Here's the phone. Let's put this off to the side for now. See if there's anything else in this box. Little seam ejector. And I believe that's it. Yep, that's it. Let's put these back. Alright. So, here's the phone. There's the back. There's the front. I gotta say, the, the weight of the phone is real nice. The size of it is real nice too. I, one of the things that I absolutely love about this phone is the fact that it's got nothing in the back. You know, most phones, they have a logo or something, not this one. Uh, even that piece of paper, you take that out and it's just a white uh, piece of ceramic. This is actually ceramic. Uh, this, the sides are titanium and then the front is Gorilla Glass 5. Here we have the flash, dual cameras. The cameras on this one are a little bit different because one is a regular color camera, the other one is a monochrome camera, so black and white. Why? I'm not sure, um, but that that's just how they decided to do it. These two dots over here, they are for some peripherals that you're able to connect to it. Like they have a 360 degree camera that you can connect to it. Uh, the idea was to make a whole bunch of different ones, but uh, aside from the camera, I don't really know of any other ones. So that idea kind of failed. Uh, and then this is the fingerprint reader. Over here we have volume, power, nothing on the other side, USB-C port with a SD, not SD, a SIM card slot on the bottom, that's kind of weird, no speaker, and that's it, really. Now, time to see if there's any juice on this. Yeah, it's got juice. So the other thing that made this phone special is this right here, <laughs> a little notch. Uh, this phone was actually the first phone to include a notch in it, uh, in the screen. Alright, so I finished setting up the phone. Uh, it is it is still downloading updates. Or it was downloading an update, I don't know. As you can see, it doesn't come with much at all as far as software. Because again, this is pure Android. So again, I really, I really like the look of the phone. I love the fact that it's about the same size as my iPhone X, which I think has the perfect size for a phone. Uh, compared to the Pixel XL, the original Pixel XL, it, it looks much, um, much smaller. Look at how fast that fingerprint reader is. Look, one, two, three. One, two, three. Should we do both? One, two, three. Okay, it's like a millisecond, but still, it's faster. That's the whole point. All right, guys, I'm gonna uh, finish setting this phone up, give it some charge, and, and then, yeah, overall, my first impressions. I, I like the size, I like the color, although it's probably gonna end up with a case. I like the construction, like it feels really, really good. Like it's got a good amount of weight to it. So it doesn't feel like a cheap piece of crap. Uh, again, for 250 bucks, that's awesome. 
I just hope that it works well enough for me where I can actually keep it and, and stop using the, the bigger one because ah, this is too big for me. The one thing I'm not too crazy about on this phone is the fact that the screen is LED, so it's not AMOLED. I'm a big fan of AMOLED, but you know, LED, it seems to be a really good LED. Like the blacks look pretty black. Um, not as black as an AMOLED, obviously, but you know, they look, they look pretty good. Again, hopefully, hopefully it will work out better because I, I do really like the size. Alright, so I just wanted to show you. I went to StuffHD.com on both and, you know, this one is a bigger phone, but I, I would say that you actually get to see more on, on the smaller one. As you can see there at the very bottom, you can see a little bit more. I still kind of like, it, it's hard to tell on this video, but I still kind of like how this one looks better color-wise. The colors on this one look a little bit washed out. I don't know if there's a setting that I can change, but you know, that's all stuff I'll have to, I have to play with. Uh, AMOLED usually does tend to make colors pop a little bit more, so that could be it. Uh, this is probably more accurate than, than that other one, but I, I like colors, so, so yeah. Uh, you know, eventually I will let you guys know more about the phone, uh, whether I decided to keep it or not, uh, but for now that that's that's what I get. Uh, let me know what you guys think. The, also, did you buy anything on Amazon Prime Day? Uh, that that's the only thing that I found that I liked. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Y'all take care. Uh, remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Real Stuff HD. Also visit StuffHD.com, and there you can find ways to help support the channel, and you know just links to all my other stuff. All right, now I'm out. Y'all take care. Bye.